Good afternoon. Today we are exploring the best churches in Paris. And of course, when you talk about the best, we should start with the one, the magnificent one in Paris, which is Notre Dame. Unfortunately, we can't go in due to the fire that happened last year. However, we thought it would be appropriate to start from here and then show you the top, the biggest, and as Sinan said, probably the best churches of this beautiful French capital. So, on you go. So this is Notre Dame. It's taken about 800 years for it to be finished. It has probably one of the most turbulent histories because during the revolution it was badly damaged. The heads of the uh, sculptures of the kings were cut off. Um, and then afterwards in the 19th century, thanks to Victor Hugo uh, and his book uh, Notre Dame de Paris, or as uh, people in the English world know it as Hunchback of Notre Dame, thanks to that book, um, the um, the cathedral was saved, restored, and uh, eventually uh, became the historic monument and protected. Unfortunately, about a year and a half ago, there was a fire and the entire roof collapsed, um, the spire collapsed, and uh, now the monument is closed temporarily. Uh, the government has promised to rebuild it within five years, so hopefully it will be rebuilt soon. Now we are in front of Saint Germain de Pré, uh, which was founded in uh, 540s. Basically, behind me is the tower. This is the oldest, the oldest bit of the church. Um, it was built at around the year 1000. We are just in front of the church, which is called San Sulpice. Uh, it's slightly smaller than Notre Dame, Notre Dame de Paris. Originally, the construction started in 13th century, and then the additions were made up to 16th century. So here it is.
we are just in front of the church Madeleine. As you can see, it looks like uh, a temple, Roman temple, because it was created for Napoleon and his victories to glorify him and his victories, as you see. And when you get to see the church, the inside looks so... it looks like a temple. Right, so now we are in front of Santa Augusta, which is a church of 19th century. Uh, it was built under Napoleon III, who really wanted to be buried here, but that didn't happen. The special thing about this church is that inside it's actually built with um, they used metal. That way they could create bigger shapes, higher domes. And tonight, today actually, we got lucky because we uh, heard a recital of Bach, which you will hear as well. So behind me is Santa Stash and uh, it was built in the 16th century. This is the church where Louis XIV actually got married. That's it for today, so if you would like to see more of these things, please let us know what places you would like to see and we would love to, do, we would love to record those places as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, thank you so much for your time and uh, until next week. Au